Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Ordinary Love. Let's do it. Ordinary Love is a drama romance from directors Lisa Barrows de Sa and Glenn Leyburn and Focus Features. The movie stars Leslie Manville, Liam Neeson, Amit Shah, and David Wilmot. An extraordinary look at the lives of a middle-aged couple in the midst of the wife's breast cancer diagnosis. First off, I'd just like to say thanks to my friends at InTheSeats.ca for hooking up this film. In the Seats is a website based here in Toronto that does movie and TV reviews, festival coverage, contest giveaways, sometimes I write for them. I will leave a link in the description. Hope you go on over there, show them some love. Now I'm gonna start by saying this is not an easy movie to watch. It deals with the ideas of illness and mortality in a very real, naturalistic way, and that's not something anybody really likes thinking about. The movie is hopeful, yet authentic. It looks for the good, but it doesn't sugarcoat the bad. Now, the cast is bolstered by strong supporting performances by David Wilmot and Amit Shaw, but this is very much a two-hander between Leslie Manville and Liam Neeson, and they're both absolutely wonderful in this movie. They have a palpable, delightful, genuine chemistry that makes it very easy for me to buy that these two have been married for years. They're often bickering at one another, but in a way that's more like a good-natured ribbing, and the love between them is always apparent. Both of their performances are wonderfully subtle and nuanced. I think with subject matter like this, there's often a tendency to really go for broke, go and get that big Oscar clip. This movie doesn't do that. Sure, both Neeson and Manville have their moments of extreme emotion, but their performances are natural and they're restrained. And restraint is something I really loved about the movie itself, not just in the characters, but in the writing and the storytelling. It's solemn, but it doesn't revel in sadness. Like its characters, the movie finds small joys and laughs and comforts, even amidst this harrowing situation. I like that we see different characters going through the phases of grief at their own speed in their own time. And sometimes when you're grieving, you find yourself laughing out of nowhere. It comes out of nowhere, you don't expect it, and then boom, you're having a laugh. I assume it's the brain's sort of coping mechanism. And this movie handles moments like that beautifully. But we also get the flashes of frustration and anger that come from a place of hopelessness and powerlessness. And it just feels very, very real. In his novel Pet Cemetery, Stephen King wrote about people who are very, very sick over a long term that we assume and we expect that they're just gonna act like angels, just grateful for the care that's being given to them. But that in reality, sometimes they lash out, perhaps unfairly, at the people trying to help them. And we see that here too. This film is unflinchingly real in its depiction of mortality and illness. And while it is quite tough to watch at times, I found that really refreshing. I absolutely recommend Ordinary Love. Just don't go into the theater expecting a really fun time at the movies. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Ordinary Love. And I think I'm gonna give Ordinary Love a out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen Ordinary Love? What did you think about it? For you, what movie deals with grief and sorrow the best? What feels the most real to you? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.